can't help but notice that chat didn't get us any gifts since yesterday. What's up with that? There's no box here. What is your deal? I can't even believe this. But thank you for that gift yesterday. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, I'll, but, uh, I'll like the splash again, screen. Another round, another round of thanks for right, that. Please clap. Very good. Pat uh, yourself on the back if you were part of it. So. The winner of the final should get a wrestling belt photoshopped in there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. We haven't found the hidden box. Uh oh. Hidden box. I threw away all of the packaging today, so if there's was, anything guess, hidden, tell me right now. I guess it card? was possible that the box crept away based off of the contents that you put in there, so. Uh we got more sealed DT tonight. Yep. Four ish decks. Pro probably just four. We'll just, we'll go with four. Yeah. Make it a solid number. We're we're pacing ourselves. If if we do four a night tonight and on Wednesday, we'll have ten decks open for the pre release stream on Thursday. Yeah. And we'll do an early stream on Thursday for all our EU viewers, like two o'clock ish. Does that sound good? Yeah. Two o'clock ish. So, uh five hours before now is when we would start. Mm. So um yeah. Uh, Inked Gaming said they should be able to have the play met up by uh, early next week at the latest, so I will definitely let everyone know in Discord as soon as that is available, because yep. I'll be buying myself one as well. Alright. Pairing viewers to others of their LGS for 28 months. That's right. You're right. I, I don't think you and Storm were the only two people that met each other due to watching the stream, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I can't remember who else it was, but... Uh... You're the most notable because you guys were like very consistent, and it was one of those. I just remember we were talking about like where everybody was one time. And you guys were like, "Oh wait, you you're where?" <laughs> um, so this is the ludicrous lot father. <laughs> this is the glove of time travel. Ooh, the glove of time travel. So this deck has three Witch of the Dawns, Kansas Satch. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I lost at Voltor Indianapolis, I had the most fun time there because I got to hang out with the, the oh, Ohio yeah. crew. We yeah. had to play Marvel Champions and go eat delicious food. And I can't wait to go back to Indy yeah. in about four months. I'm very excited. It's a good thing we got to go to Indy twice that year because little did we know we, we were weren't going to get back. to go to Indy for yeah. 24 months or something. Beach Day. Beach Day is a good card. Yeah, that is a good card. <laughs> Have we had this card yet? Uh, I had a Beach Day, I think, in one of my decks. But it's pretty good. It just... Okay, so... There's like... There's gonna be times where the board's gonna get wiped, and Ooh, I'm just gonna... What? <laughs> I'm just gonna play like a pile of... Uh, it's got three Witch of the Dawns and a Deepwater Druid. Huh. And I can like Beach Day... The... Witch of the Dawn or the Gruen and stuff like that. So yeah, I think there are some pretty silly draws. With this ah, a mug with a uh, capture icon. Always love that. That's solid. I got the Z Force Agent. Yeah, two Hard Simpsons. Um, Hard Simpsons is good with this mug, then, right? Because um, you this. Hard Simpson has a capture icon on it also. So, oh, yeah. Uh, and they got two mugs, so you could end up um, like th three blatant thieveries? You got um, cheese. That's just like hideously. It, what are your houses? Uh, Sanctum, Sanctum, Star okay. Alliance, Logos. So the the Star Alliance and the Logos don't care, but like the Sanctum, there's a chance yeah. you care about blatant thievery and the Sanctum there. Two Marshall Ewers. This deck is doing some stuff. I don't know. That's controlling a lot of Amber, but. Yeah, it's, I feel robbed that there's no Legacy Time Traveler in here. Oh, okay, so Harmonic Ritual, I don't think we've seen this card yet. Um, it's a Sanctum card, it gives you one Amber on play. Um, play, choose a friendly creature. If its left neighbor shares a house with it, gain one and repeat this effect on that creature. Which is 
absolutely insane with those witch at the end. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> you just load it up next yeah. turn. Just keep doing it. This deck looks to be fairly bursty. I don't know. Um, it's probably got some bad matchups out there. Anyone who's like purging creatures or whatever probably does some rude things to this deck. But this plays like a first or last and purges like yeah. witches. Double Eye of the Archons is always good. And I don't know that I have a lot of like creature control. So. I think this deck I think this deck is trying to win fast. The glove of time travel. The ludicrous lot father. It's a bit light on creature control in some in some cases. I think I think the decks that have really solid creature control are gonna soar to the top of, of our tournament here, for sure. Such as Mervigate. Both it's both efficient and good at controlling creatures. Uh, did Justin get a Z Force agent in that deck? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cool. That's like our second Z Force agent. Like uh, last, I think we, last I, night we had one. We I, had more I, than I, that, but like in our last stream. Well, I, I um I think we had one in uh, like another one already. Yeah, yeah, we had at least deck, one so. more. We've been we've been rocking a lot of Z Force. I think we only got one Z Force agent in uh in Worlds Collide initially. Yeah, uh, that's a good point, Andrew. The 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 star the target sweepers removal. are insane. Right? Yeah, the tar the starlight sweepers are really good, but like the targeted removal, it's like you you can have like a two power elusive creature, and that thing is just hard to take off the table. All right, load mine up. Is Z Force Agent is on the um the right side of. Fun versus powerful. It's definitely more fun than it is powerful. And sure, it can be powerful, um, but uh, I it's think... not like your opponent's not like, gosh, it's two nah, Z Force Z4 agents Z4 loaded up yeah, again. Yeah. Your opponent's it... like, well, I guess I'll just lose to Z Force agent yeah. <laughs> if, it, if I don't do something about it. Which is fine. It's not removing their ability to have fun. Dub double punctuated equilibrium. I saw that. Oh, man. Yeah, I saw yeah. that one on We Twitter. haven't seen a punctuated equilibrium for a bit in our decks. We had at least one, I think, early on. Uh, you bought the the waste knot. Yeah, did we get? Did we actually open one? I don't know that we, we might not have opened one. one. I think we actually maybe we have because I know we had taken some chains at some point. Um, I think, or maybe we, there was one deck that had it because it lets your punctuated equilibrium does get rid of a chain for your opponent or yeah. yourself if you happen to have it, which is very relevant in this set because you tend to you're more likely to get chains in this set than you are other sets. So. Make your opponents be in your MP. Ooh, ooh. That's a good play. Three. Okay. The Wizard of Electronics and Breakfast is a really funny name. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good name. I'm gonna vlog in this hand. Okay. I just can't quite make it work. I want it to work, but I can't quite. Wizards and breakfast. They probably make a better card game than those wizards on the coast. <laughs> Am I right? Wow. Somebody Shots was fire. somebody was talking about that on Twitter earlier today about how people don't want to um, play KeyForge. Um, I was like hard to get people into KeyForge. It is hard to get people into KeyForge. I, I just I can't quite figure out why. I mean, so you can't open a KeyForge deck and it you know it'd be seventy five dollars, right? Like, well, like, I mean, you you might, but <laughs> you, you got to put in some work. Yeah, for you got to put it, some right? work. Honestly. The if you're trying to persuade people to get into Keyforge, and if they're if they're like really into magic, and you're trying to persuade them into Keyforge nicely, you're doing it wrong. You should just insult them into getting into Keyforge. You should tell them, oh yeah, I mean I understand why you play magic. Right? <laughs> uh, I I remember I remember my second card game after Pokemon. I remember when two. I was twelve. Yeah, I I uh, 
um you know i think you just you just go on like the insult comic um uh spree and that'll get them to try keyforge i don't know if that's gonna work i'll grand melee to kill seneschal i will play orion and orpheon <laughs> orpheon sees chosen and general zalvador and i'll play shifting battlefield to not move anything Your turn. Yeah, that's that's my biggest question mark, right? Farquad, the light, they're like, we can't build decks, but everyone just like goes to yeah. magicdecks.com and is like, right. download me the best deck list that imaginable. Uh, I'll, I'll play Witch Wish of the Dawn and bring back Seneschal. I'll play Way of the Pixie. I'll play Genetic Drift and put a plus one plus one counter. And every creature that has a plus one plus one counter, it's another one. And it is your turn. I will. I'll say Starlance. I'll play a Z Force and I'll give him an emitter and a particle tracker. Let's go. Topmagicdex.com doesn't exist. <laughs> I can't believe it doesn't exist. <laughs> um I am going to say Sanctum, I'll take three chains to raise the tide. I will play a Gorm of Om. I will play a Sir Bevor. I'll play a Seneschal Sargassa. Um, and I will Strange Ordination. Um, and uh, before chat points out that I could capture two with Seneschal Shadows, I want to steal. So, Makes sense. It's your turn. I'll drop a chain and draw three. Or Z Force Agent. I will say Starlance. I'm going to put Light of the Archons on Z Force Agent. Okay. Uh, I'm large. I'm going to fight Seneschal. Oh, I can't. I can fight Bever. Okay. Well, Bever's dead. I uh, lose the ward. I get to search my deck for an upgrade and put it in my hand. I got a lot of upgrades in here. Oh my. I get Light of the Archons. I guess to gain yeah a pile three amber. <laughs> Nathan punted. Uh, I'm gonna give this to your you know just makes it a bigger target, but I got all kinds of targets over here. All right. Oh. My turn? Yep. Uh, I am going to say Shadows. I'm going to play Master Mindy and One Eyed Willa. Uh, I'm going to Ransack. And. Well, been pretty good. Uh, I am going to Blatant Thievery Urian, so enrage him and move all Amber from it to my pool. Um, and it is your turn. I will drop a chain. Master Mindy will get a. Scheme counter, and I'll draw four. It's a check six. All right, so I get to ward. Say Sanctum. I will take three chains and raise the tide. I get to capture two. Two onto one creature, a creature captures two. Okay. I will have Ryan fight one eyed Willa and losing a rage. Armors absorbs the, the stuff. I will play Grand Melee with a capture icon. <laughs> I'm losing a Grand Melee. Lose you you on Grand Melee turn one and then. Um, uh... Oh, I could actually. Uh, I could fight with Orpheal and gain two, because it's okay. got Skirmish, instead of that. Which would mean this still has an Enrage counter, but I do get to reap. So, uh, I'll reap with that, gain two. Uh, <laughs> I will play Corpulent Collector. Yeah. Capture, take three. Reap with Zalvador. I'm done. 
All right, I will say shadows. Uh, I'm gonna mug the corpulent collector to death. Um, and it's your turn. I'll drop the chain and draw two. I'm just gonna, okay, <laughs> just loose to the board. At least the game will be quick. Oh, this gets warded. Uh, yes, we improved the tide indicator yesterday uh, with help from Sky Jedi. So, and I say we, Justin, improved it. I guess I just like reap here. Reap into and go to five. Uh, okay, my turn. Yeah. I am going to say Untamed, I'm going to play Witch of the Dawn, who's going to get back a Witch of the Dawn. I'll play Witch of the Dawn and get back Gatekeeper. Um, and then I am going to assert dominance and have Witch of the Dawn fight Orpheon. I'll say check with six and it's your turn, I'll draw two. I think any deck that does not have removal is a bad deck in this set, this period. I was like relatively excited to play this game, but um, I can't do anything about Justin's board, so... I'll say the logo, so I'll play a library card, play Phase Shift for a Cheetah, play Hide, I'll play Armadryn. You didn't even have the decency to <laughs> threaten that last year? I didn't have a way to like... you. Easily get one. I figured sick. playing a bunch of cards is better. You sick. Yeah, unfathomable decks to represent the beholder. Um, I am going to say um Shadows. I'm gonna discard Hard Simpson. I'm gonna Gormavon Library card. I have a borrow, by the way. Oh. <laughs> um, I think this game could have panned out a lot differently um, if you didn't start with Sanctum creatures that I have yet to be able to answer all of. I'm gonna Blatant Thievery General Salvador. Um, and it's your turn. I'll draw to you. I'll say check with eight. All right, I'll say Logos. I'll information exchange and steal one. Even though you play Blatant Thiever, you didn't steal anything from me. Yeah. I will play a Vellum. I'm going to Reap with Hide. And draw two. <laughs> I'll fight a Witch. Steal one. Which one? And I'll put a stack charge on this one. Okay. Die is all Forge. I am going to say uh, Sanctum. I am going to play General Salvador. I'll play Marshal Ewer and Raise the Tide. Uh, I'll play Gatekeeper. Um, I will play Staunch Knight. And then I'm going to Harmonic Ritual. Choose a friendly creature. If its left neighbor shares a house with it, gain one and repeat this effect. So. Repeated on that creature. So left gain one, left gain one. So, um, and it is your turn. I will draw five. Okay, let's see. Star Alliance. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. All right, I'll put Officer's Blaster. Oh, I can't do that. I can't. It's too rage. I'll. Put Officer's Blaster on Z-Force Agent. Capture one. Put Z-Ray Blaster on Z-Force Agent. I'll fight Gatekeeper. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Gain I, a million. I can, I can see before you could do anything more. Play fun. Diplomat. I could have like put the Officer Blaster and light it on the uh, Orion. Yeah. Uh, Orion, I mean. Diplomatic gun. Oh man, this deck's sweet. Oh my god, where was Beach Day? Return a creature to its owner's hand. I like. I needed to be able to deal with one creature for one turn mm -hmm. at any point during that game. Yeah, I got all the Z oh, upgrades god. on it. I assembled Voltron. 
pretty awesome. I mulliganed like a not great hand. Oh, I don't know. Whatever. Next game. Yeah, next, next game. That's not worth thinking about. No. It's really not worth thinking about. You just you can't win a game. It doesn't. It does not matter my decisions in a game like that, right? It's it's hard for me to separate that from the feeling of losing a game that hard. But it didn't matter what decisions I made that game, right? Because I I di I don't have a way to stop what was happening. I never did. Um, if it if it happened, I couldn't prevent it, right? It's just an asteroid could hit the house right now. It's not worth getting upset about. It's not worth thinking about. It's not the blast radius. Tearing this town to pieces. There's no reason to put any thought into that. No treat. It's up. It's much easier. This is a Z Force agent deck. So. What? Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, look. I didn't name this deck. Okay. The one you're up is great. All right. This deck is called. And don't let everybody D colon me. The dog catcher that wants joy. That's <laughs> pretty ominous. <laughs> it's... I have Ferreira the Chatty. Did you have a Ferreira? Was that the name you had a bunch of? Ferreira? Uh, Fellini. Fellini, okay. I think I had a. I had several F names. The last deck I had was uh, Fabrizio. Fabrizio. <laughs> Double knowledge is powerful. <laughs> what you say? Oh, zaps. Oh my god, I can play the game. Zaps. Precious zaps. Shield you later to go with the Z Force to give him armor to get, let him keep fighting, and shield you later to go with your Ryan. I'm sorry, Justin. I guess you were trying to open this deck. What? This is the same you're deck. Trying, you're trying to. It's beat, the same. You're trying houses. to beat me with your Ryan's and shield you later again. The exact same houses. It's the same deck. What the heck? That one might be better. Is there? Are there? Uh, Light the Archons in there? No, no. Um, but uh, this one looks like it's got some removal. It's got shoulder armor. It's got a doorstep. Oh, this card is bad. Avenging Aura. It's a Sanctum card that says uh, you gain an Amber Pip and play. For the remainder of the turn, each friendly creature gains Assault X, where oh. X is the number of Forged keys, your opponent. Has. Yeah, that, that card's awful. It's like it's really like bad. <laughs> only good if they have a bunch of warded stuff, right? Like, wow. Hotmagicdecks.com exists now. <laughs> Does someone buy it? You yeah. liar! Look at that. I can't believe you told a true. I can't believe you told something untrue. Followed by the emote kappa. <laughs> What would Gregory Kappa, founder of the Kappa Emo, John say? T. Kappa. Yeah, Eureka and two knowledge's powers. The redirects, redirects working to me. Maybe it did not. Uh, you just bought it. <laughs> maybe you. Uh, maybe the DNS hasn't. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's not populated yet. Yeah. Oh, man. How much is that domain? I, I wouldn't be surprised that domain was not like. Go ahead and make free. some money off that domain. Yeah. Top magic decks and just redirects people to go play Keyforge. <laughs> it's yeah. like, I caught you, you son of a bitch. $10. You son of a bitch. You're over here talking shit about how there's no deck building in Keyforge, yet you've navigated to topmagicdecks.com. Checkmate. Bill's words. Worked when you typed in the link.
that uh trying to go to mm. I have take off the There you go. Keyforge game. Oh uh, yeah. Very very good. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Great ten dollars. Ten dollars well spent. That's gonna be a, a great. Uh, that's an excellent use of uh, uh, or ex excellent like foundation for future trolling. <laughs> we can redirect everybody to topmagicdecks.com. I found a really sweet magic deck. The dog catcher that wants joy. <laughs> hmm. There's no joy in catching dogs. Am I the only person on Earth who's watched The Leftovers? Probably. Yeah. I need to go back and rewatch that show. That may be my next project. My current, since uh, since Invincible is done, and um, you watch season one. Season two and season three are even better. But do you know the dog catcher I'm talking about from season one? Sounds familiar. Uh, it's a very striking scene. Uh, I will mulligan. This isn't bad, but I'll mulligan. I love that show. Season 2 and Season 3 are incredible. I liked Season 1 a lot. Um, season 2 just absolutely crushes Season 1. Bad Batch, I'm sure Justin is. Yeah, Bad Batch is great. Oh, yes. The first episode was basically just a movie. It was amazing. 75 minutes. That's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot of episodes. I turned it on. I was like, 75 minutes? What the heck? It just, it's just immediately after episode three, it starts. Ah. It was like, it's like the last five minutes of episode three and then it's really good. Now, what I like about the show is that it's digging into like the politics of the, uh, the Republic transforming into the Empire and like how that stuff is happening like, kind of around the group. I think it's really interesting. I'll start with uh, Sensor Fellow All Star Dino. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, I am going to say Logos. So I'm going to play Knowledge as Power and Archive a card. Uh, and I'll put Static Charge on Sensor Fellow. And it is your turn. Uh, I'll say. Sorry, and I'll reap with Philo. I will let go of the many to destroy him. And I'll play Hedonistic Intent to exalt each flank creature, and I'll play Medicus Locus. I am going to say Sanctum. I'm going to play Hold Fast. I'll play Uriah the Circumspect. I'm going to hammer grand Medicus Lagos, do three damage and stun, uh, and then heal or harm. I will just heal one of my creatures and some merit in fighting there, but your creature's stunned and damaged, so I think I'll just let it sit there. And it's your turn. I'll draw. So, Logos, I'll play a Tall Mage. I will Bouncing Death Quark to kill, kill, kill. Okay. 
and I'll play Australis Seaborg. Um, I am going to say Star Alliance. I'll play Rocketeer Triska and give her a Z particle tracker. And it's your turn. I will draw it to you. Mm, I'll say Untamed. Play Eldest Bear. Play Trelonia. I didn't think three chains is worth two amber. Yeah. I'll play this uh, Molly Mock. Where are you around? What's up? What do you think you're growling? Hmm. 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 Okay. I'm going to say Logos. I'm going to put Academy Training on Rocketeer Triska. Uh, and I will. Is it worth it to go through the. So I can reap and gain an amber, or I could fight the Chelonia and go get a, an upgrade. Yeah, another stag charge would be good. I don't. Um, 14 decks, right? Why not make it 24 decks? Oh. Okay, so I think I reap with her because I don't have any Locust cards to get. Um, so I can't play them this turn. Um, and then... Uh, draw a card. Uh, I did not, so I will now draw. Um, Two deck steel turning. Ooh, sweet. I will final analysis because I don't want to deal with that board. And I'll draw one. Um... I am going to think twice my knowledge is power archive a card. Um, I do think that uh, there's some potential. I had some clunk, but I do think this deck's got some potential absolute bangers. Yeah, with the knowledge is powers and um, stuff. Because it's got two of them and the think twice, right? So And a Eureka. No, so. man. Um, all right, I'll draw. Go ahead. I'll say Logos. I'll play... Yeah, I'll say Logos. I'll play Pause Tremble. No. Yes, I'll say pa play Pause Tremble. Play Bill Jordan and raise the tide. I'll play Submersive Principle so we lose half. <coughs> I'll play Old Egad and the Ptolemy Steel Heart. That was <coughs> one, two, five. three, four, five. Your turn. All right, I am going to say Star Alliance. I'm going to play a Shield You Later and a Shield You Later and a Z Wave emitter on a Shield You Later, and then I'm going to zap the Bill Jordan and stuff. And it is your turn. I will draw four. Say Saurian. I will Carpe Venom to exalt two enemy creatures. Uh, Dino, you didn't to kill an enemy creature with amber on it. Kill the shield you later. Which is a really good card. Yeah. Uh, I'll play a Lapisaurus and I'll discard Crushing Charge. Alright, I am going to say Logos. I'm going to play uh, Eddie. Archive a card. Uh, and then I will play Knowledge is Power for. Seems and uh, it is your turn. Oh, so check with seven. 
say untamed, I will play Keyfrog, Gruen, into now persistent hunting for Star Lance. I'll give Egad away of the Pixie. I'll assert dominance to ready and fight with the Gruen and Teddy. Your turn. Alright, so I will forge. He's not tapped. Shield your Uh I did I persist and signed it to tap it. Oh yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. I thought you persisted hunting my board and I was like, you can't tap both my creatures, mm. but the, you killed the other one, so. Um Okay. Uh Do I give you the key in favor of the more powerful turn? Um, I think so. I will Eureka. Say Logos and Eureka. And I am going to play Captain Crease And it is your turn. I will draw. Of course. Uh, I will say Untamed. I'll play All Tied Up to gain two. Play All Tied Up to gain two. I'm going to reap with Gruen. I'm going to send the key frog into Crusade to the forge. Okay. Your turn. Okay. Um, I am going to say Star Alliance. I'm going to play Kin Can. Um, I am going to zap. Uh, one, two, three, four. Um, I'm going to get Tall Mage for one, Gruen for one. Uh, King Can for one. And the last one I'll throw into a point of armor somewhere. Um, and then I am going to reap with the shield you later. Go to six. So you check with six. It's your turn. I will draw to you. I'll say Saurian. Play Gladiodontus. Play Ultras Rostrum. Play Corners and Octavia. And Lapsaurus will do. Your turn. Okay, so I will forge. I'm going to say Sanctum and put my archives in my hand. When I say Sanctum, there's no Sanctum cards on the table, so King Can will steal one. Um, I am going to Hammergram Octavia. I am going to Cleansing Wave. Three, five. Yep. I am going to. Play Ryan and give him shoulder armor. 
gonna play Grey Augur. And I am gonna play Avenging Aura. And I will say check with eight. Got nothing. That game was also fast. Yeah. <laughs> No one found the wheel yet tonight, so... Oh, yeah. That may be the deciding factor on what's a fast and what isn't a fast... Uh, a, a, what, what's a slow game, so... Yeah. This deck, uh, Player Herps, I think is in your wheelhouse, because it's uh, double knowledge is power, eureka, and uh, think twice. Um, so, lots of uh, zooming. Lots of potential big bursty plays, so... Uh... You you pulled the perfect Eureka, by the way. Um, my hand was two Star Alliance, two Logos, two oh Sanctum. My God. And so I played the Eureka. You hit the two Sanctum, because all of the, my whole archives was Sanctum. So um, I had the two Star Alliance and Kree Sage, um, so I could play that and draw four. So And Eddie, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, here's Unfathomable. <laughs> this is uh, Mr. Tarot Titan, the Hot Archivist. <laughs> and it's Tarot Titan, like Pterodactyl. <sighs> Patero. You can't play Eureka from t Think Twice. That is correct, right? Because it's a. Uh, it's, uh, but the Think Twice is insane with knowledge as power, though. The Hot Archivist. Yeah, I, I was just thinking of like the romance covers. <laughs> yes, archiving gets me so tired at the end of the day. I just need a <laughs> massage. <laughs> Bird of Portavia Crater. It looks like an octopus. Well, it looks like something else also. I don't know. <laughs> Bird of Portavia Crater. It's a lot of two of in this deck, which I generally like. Mr. Tarot Titan. It's the hot archivist? Yeah. It's, it's hot enough to be considered the hot archivist. It's not exclusionary, right? You, it, it's, it the is a, hot archivist. Yeah. You go to a store and it's like, you know, Tarot Titan. The, the hot, hot archivist? archivist? You know yeah. the one. You know the one. Yeah. <laughs> it's not... You got the hot one and you got the other one. The hot one? Oh, you must mean Terra Titan. I wonder if we have another Archivist deck. <laughs> Mr. Terra Titan, please. <laughs> Hot Archivist Eagles win, yeah. That's just the, the 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 soap opera plot right there. It writes itself. It would it would be the evil twin of Mr. Terror Titan. You can't come in here and tell me that the hot archivist evil twin isn't more hot. But yeah. You can't tell me that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's just the the twin. I mean, right? It, it's it's still hot. It's exactly as hot. They're twins. It's just evil at yeah. the same time. So there's like a goatee now or whatever. There's definitely a goatee involved.
Now remember, can be hotness is in the eye of the beholder. It's true. Look at the shirt. Read the shirt. Look at all the eyes. The eye of the behold the eyes of the beholder. Yeah. And process this deck. This deck looks slow, but it's got unfathomable, so if your deck is kinda slow, then it will Yeah. That's uh, well, that's chromid, but yeah, looking pretty hot. <laughs> looking pretty hot. Looking pretty snappy. Yep. Green. A lot of Dangly bits there. There's, I don't know if you saw all of that. <laughs> it's got something going on there. We're gonna censor this Archon art. <laughs> my, my, I think mine needs that more than yours. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, this isn't this isn't the unfathomable logo discussion over here, right? Like where somebody's like clearly trying to project something. This this one is this one looks like the Starlock pit. I'll remind you that uh, these are basically ink blot tests, right? Yeah. You see what you want to see. Yeah. Have you... <laughs> okay. Nine. I will keep. Um, I will. Yeah. Mulligan, actually. It's like a frog. It looks like a frog has been run over. <laughs> My hands. Hawk. I feel like we've gotten a lot of Sarian. Uh, my last two decks didn't have it. Okay, right. I feel like I've gotten a lot of Sarian. But I know I opened a decent amount yesterday, so. I'll be curious to see our house breakdown once we get all our stuff yeah. opened. Okay. And it is. Okay, I will say Saurian, uh, I will Carpe Venom Kincan, and play a Cornice and Octavian. And it's your turn, I will draw. Play Shadows. Shoulder it, shoulder it, Horn Swoggle. Use an enemy artifact. I wish there aren't any. Checking current. I don't have uh, everything in our Dex Keyforge account yet, so I have to cross-reference Nathan's stuff. I don't think I already have. I don't have uh, all of my stuff in there either. I'm gonna say Sarian. I'm gonna play a Lapisaurus. Cornus and Octavia is gonna fight this shoulder. I can't. I literally am in a position where I cannot amber. generate amber. Otherwise, yeah. it gets stolen from me a myriad of different ways. So I'll draw. Say Sarian. Play Magistrix Vita. Uh, I can exalt friendly non-sorian creature if you do reap with it. Reap with shoulder red. I will play Menicus Locus. I'll play Lapisaurus. I'll play Suvenator Altums. And I'll dino you didn't throw an enemy creature with amber on it. I wish there aren't any. Got a lot of dinos now. Uh, okay. Uh, I am going to say Untamed. I'm going to play Infighting. Okay. To the right? Yeah. All right. Well. Well. Instead, I guess I 
for a second. That's dead. That's dead. Uh, the shoulder ids. Oh, they they, they don't, don't do, do yeah. Um. Um. But it will die. King can won't. Okay. Um. It will die. This won't do. It won't die. This will die. And this will take three. This stuff dies. Yeah. So. Uh, I will play Molly Mock. I'll give Molly Mock an instrument of silence. Play Witch of the Dawn. Did you have an amber? Uh, got this amber when the shoulder it died. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Okay. So. It, I did not have this amber until after it. And it is your turn. I will draw four. All right, I'll say Sarian. I'll fight the Laposaurus. Really rooting for the hot one. Um, so that will trade there, and I'll do that. I'll fight the Molly Mock. I will reap with Laposaurus. Reap, eat a exalt and reap. King can play Altum. I'll play Bestiary or so. That's not a creature. Your turn. There's some big old dinos in here. Could you stop drawing Sarians, please? I hope soon, I'm sure. I am going to say Unfallible. I'm going to corrode Venator Altum. No, you stole one because of Kin Can's dumbass. Mm. Um, I am going to play Wakolia. I will um, sink or swim. I am going to uh, exhaust Magistra Vita and neighbors, uh, and then I'm going to call of the void. Um, I'm going to get Kin Can because, because, um, and it's your turn, so I will draw for Go ahead. No, that's no. Uh, Forge. I'll say Shadows. Horn Swoggle. I'll play Hobnobber and Whisper. Cement Shoes. Do two damage to the Wicola. And your turn. All right, I am going to say untamed. I will take three chains to gain the tide. I will play Chelonia. I will play Keyfrog and gain one. Uh, Keyfrog infighting is a combo. Yeah. Um, I will play Meliobi and gain one. I am going to take the Witch of the Dawn and fight the Hobnobbers before he makes me angry. And I'll say check with seven. It's your turn. I'll drop a uh, chain and draw two. Say Starlight. So I'll play Biome Discovery and take the tide. I will play Xeno Training. Capture two. I will play Light of the Archons and Plasma Nozzle. God, the nozzle. On B Siri or so. Where do I just put that on bed? Make him even bigger. I don't think it really matters. That's fine on Beast here, I guess. And I'll use your Discord to use a friendly non starlight creature to fight the King Frog. Before fight, uh, two damage to the attack creature with two splash. Does it? Or 
Kappa. Um. I am going to say Saurian. Um, Cornus and Octavia is going to fight the Laposaurus. I am going to Decadence to move this from the La uh, Octavia to. Whisper. I don't even know if Whisper is easier to kill. I'll put it in Magistra Vita. I'll play my own Magistra Vita. Who I guess I will use. Uliobi, that's the one that's least good for you to use or to fight. Um, and I'll reap. I'll go to six. I'll say check with six. I'll draw to you. Drop a change. Your turn. Say sorry. I'll enlist New Mary to take control of your Meliobi. It belongs to Halsarian. I guess you can put it on whichever blank you want. That's fine. I so will... the, the really dumb thing is this deck has two Maelstroms, and I have mm. not seen one yet. And um, I'll play a Serarium. I will fight the Cornison. I'm going to splash two. Um, so I have. Two armor, three armor. Pick two. I play a Faust. I'll reap. I'll reap. I will reap. I won't use it because I can. I guess I could play that before Cerarium to exalt and reap with Whisper. And play that. Okay, I'll say Unfathomable, I'll play two of these your turn, I'll draw to you. Go ahead. Oof. Dude, I, I don't know how I'm supposed to win this game if I can't draw a board wipe. And the ch <laughs> I mean, I took those chains for two amber, maybe that wasn't worth it at the time, right? Because I essentially lost three cards. If the, uh, if the, the Maelstrom is in these three cards, I think the thing was, I think I lost the game last turn. Um, okay, the Maelstrom's not even in these three cards. So, um, yeah, anyway, I, setting up the Maelstrom, no, I, I, if, I wish I was setting up the Maelstrom. I just, I, how many of the dumb Saurians, how many Sar, how, tell me how many Saurians are in that deck? How many, how many creatures? creatures? Is it uh, 10? It feels like 10. Seven, eight. Eight. Eight, okay. Yeah. Because it's like every time he took a Saurian turn, he put three to four dinosaurs on the table. I was I got killed some the 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 first go round. Well, he's got the steel uh, a card, so that's actually uh, a, a hidden Saurian right there, right? That's game. I don't have Amber to fight. It's, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's game. I don't. There you go. Like I said, I I was pretty sure I lost the game the previous turn. Maelstroms bottom card. Maelstrom. Mod Maelstrom. Recusal's chant would have been decent. Go to the mini, could have done some work. It would have like cleaned up all the, the other idiots, but yeah. Well, this might be a fast stream. Yeah. This is our last um, game. <laughs> we could probably do another one. Also, want to append that, yeah. Because yeah. uh, I mean, the games are going fast. Yeah. Unlike last night, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. The decks were slower last night. <sighs> this is like. These decks. Uh, the decks outside the the one deck that I've won with tonight, the decks I'm opening are making me angry. I feel I remember so, when I felt like that, so yeah. I really understand. The the decks are so feast or famine in this set. It's like either the deck does so much fun stuff, or you're just like absolutely miserable. I got a maverick. Senator. Kittivich. Nathan ranted in the stream. I can rant for yeah, just freestyle. It'll be freestyle. It's just I'll I'll resp I'll incorporate uh, a chat suggestion into the next phase of my rant. 
um, at my stream of consciousness rant, right? Like I'll just keep riffing on whatever people keep putting in a chat. Yeah, I mean, at uh, Tyler Hall's way. Look, look at this turtle. Um, Sweet turtle archon. And the thing is, if I play Maelstrom, Justin loses, like, three turns. Like, Justin just goes back to the Stone Age, right? I, I, um, I lost that game because I couldn't get Saurians off the table. So... No waste knot in this deck that's got so many growth surges. But it does have a Moogling. This Moogling could be King's Moogling. Senator Kittybitch. What was my deck's name? Ventus Indefort Senator. Senator Kittybitch. I'm going to crawl up my hard Simpson three times. <laughs> oh my god, an ostracized targeted removal. Crushing charges. Please spare me from the boards I've been having to face. Yeah, Sensor File could have fought everything in your deck for free last game. Yep. Uh, I have both Imperial Forge and Colosseum. Interesting. I have Imperial Forge and uh, Medicus Lacus and Spoils of Battle. Oh, that's actually super good, right? That's actually insane. And Old Bruno. Sanctum Persistence Hunting. Pretty cool. That's like one of our very few Mavericks we've seen. Ah. The Howling Pit with a draw card icon on it. <laughs> All right. Could have landed in a better place. <clears throat> they have literally any card that gets the tide. Scooped does not. Right. Uh, it's Sleep with the Fishes. Right. Scooped is the capture one. Nope. They snoring over there. The snorry dog. Snorry it's definitely dog. the eye twitches of a animal that is not awake. <laughs> He's definitely snoring. Yeah, the artifact about the oh, Whispering Reliquary. It's a super good card. Yeah. Look at Starlight. I'm prepared to have zero fun this game. Mm. Uh, eh, we'll see. I don't. It didn't. Nothing like this bounced out at me. Untamed Sarian Shadows is a bummer to open since Worlds Collide. So also barehanded, just dump everything on top of their deck. It that was, was that was a beating. It uh, I don't know. I don't even know if I looked at my roll after I made it. 
I think you rolled low, maybe? I don't remember. Eight. Six, okay. Grasping vines, yeah. Okay. Sure. Uh, I'll keep, I'll say Strain, I'll play Console Primus. I'll say Sanctum, I'll play Barrister Joya, Zalvador, Zalvador, uh, Shifting Battlefield with a draw icon, Sir Bever. Your turn. Okay, I am going to say um, Untamed. I literally have no way to get the Tide except to. Um, Chains? Uh, except chains in this deck. Um, so I don't think I bother. I'm going to play Chelonia. I'm going to play Youngest Bear. I'm going to play Growth Surge on, I'm guessing, Youngest Bear. And then I'm gonna genetic drift. I'll give um need him to be six power. Gen he'll be six after this. Chelonia won't be. Um so I'll give Chelonia a plus one and then I'll give everybody a plus one plus one counter that has a plus one plus one counter. Okay. Uh and then I'm gonna persistence hunting for sanctum. And it is your turn. I will draw five. <laughs> I will say. <laughs> I think it's some noise already. I'll say Star Alliance. I'll play Diplomat Agung. Uh, I'm going to make Barrister Joya untamed this turn. I'm going to play Grand Alliance Council. So, untamed Star Alliance, uh, Sanctum. Play uh, Seer Officer Hawkins in game two. Your turn. I'm going to say Untamed. I'll play Key Frog. I'll Reaper So. Uh, that is Reaping. It's not fighting. I will say Shadows. I'll play Hobnobber. I'm going to give, uh, he's got a capture icon I'll put on Console Primus. Give Console Primus a hand cannon. I'll walk the plank to steal one. Um, and it's your turn. I'll draw three. Mm. Yeah, it feels like you did. Say Sanctum. I'll play Hold Fast. After one. I'll play a Bulwark. Fight Hobnobber. Ready Hold Fast. I'll Reap with Salvador. Hold Fast will. Yeah, I'll just go trade with Constant Primus. Remember. Your turn. I <clears throat> am going to say uh, Saurian. I'm going to play Pterodactyl, Paragarian, and Imperial Forge. And it's your turn. I will draw three. Yeah, I agree. Uh, code Red. The deck start to shine. Yeah. I'll say Starlance. Play a mutagenesis researcher, Xeno. Well, I guess I could actually work the training with Gung. Although I'm not going to make it like an off house. I'll play Xeno training. He's got a capture icon. I will capture two more. I'll reap with a Gung. Make Zalvador. Star Alliance, Reap with Salvador, Reap with Hawkins. For sure. 
Um, I'm going to say untamed, and I'll take three chains for the tide. I am going to play Chelonia. I am going to play Mookling, King 1. I'm going to play Key Frog, King 1. I am going to Reap or so to give the Mookling 3 plus some and um, it's your turn. I'll drop a chain. The Star Alliance. I will... Reap with a gung. To make Bulwark. Star Alliance. He's going to fight Mookling. Um, yeah. I'll fight the key frog. Hawkins. Just reap. And I'll techno babble to stun Paraguardian. Your turn. Okay. Uh, I am going to say shadows. I am going to scoop Joya. Scooped. I am going to Kerwallop. Gain one. Then I'm gonna Kerwallop. Mm. Gain one, two, three, four. Jeez. Okay. Hopefully uh you'll get some in-store play soon. And I'll drop a chain and draw three. Go ahead. Okay. I will forge. I'll say Logos. No, I'm sorry, Tony is dead. Okay. I'm gonna take three chains. Take the tide. I will. What? <laughs> Just play it. Just okay. play it. Play Old Egad, Old Egad Armadron. Um, I will final analysis. Okay. Draw four. Draw two. I will play Submersive Principle. Um. Play Howling Pit, raw card. It's the only thing that made sense when you took Logos and immediately took the chains is that I knew the Submersive Principle was on its way. Play up a morph. Uh, now your turn. Yeah, I'll forge. That's why I was making the hand motion. It's like, yeah, yeah I, I, the one time this game I've had any amount of amber, yeah, yep, yeah, that makes sense for you to have the Submersive Principle at this time. Yes. Um, I am going to say Saurian. I will ostracize the Infomorph, which is a waste, but uh, I'm just getting cards out of my hand and I want some value. Venator, Altum, and Medicus Lacus. Uh, it's your turn. I'll drop a chain and draw three because the Howling Pit increases my hand size. And it's your turn. That's not a total waste because I'm playing Star Alliance and I have a Gung and Hawkins okay. and uh, Shield. Is there Dealer. two Hawkins in that deck? Yeah. Yeah, and two of Guns. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I mean, <laughs> that's it. There's like right. a lot of two of in here. Um, I am going to say sorry, and I'm gonna crushing charge, and I will reap twice. And it's your turn. I'll drop a chain and draw one. Illogos, I will master the theory. Y yeah, yeah, Coffee okay. Saga. I'm mad. I'm <laughs> salty. Have you seen the games I've played tonight? I'm gonna phase shift. Shield you later. Play Tall Mage. One, two, three, four. Rant time. No. I, I mean, so here's the thing. The the decks like this just are miserable to play in this set. Um, like the things that people hated about Worlds Collide Brobnar, it's like I feel like you've got four houses in this set that have creatures that are just as bad as Worlds Collide Brobnar um, as far as like having an impact as soon as you play them on the board. 
and um, you have Unfathomable, which is a faction that completely punishes that playstyle of having to play slow creatures that don't do anything. So, pat out some of the time. All right, my turn. I am going to say Shadows. I'm going to discard Hard Simpson. I am going to play Monty Bank so that I can um, Corwallop kill it for an Amber. That one to everything? Yeah. Um, he, is, he, is, he, is he exalted in this situation? He's got armor, right? I, yeah, I thought so. Um, I will play Old Bruno. And it is your turn. I will draw five. Uh, I'll say Sanctum, pick up the Archive. Yeah, right. I mean, because I haven't... My entire experience with Dark Titans isn't this, right? And this is the same way in every set, right? So it's... I don't want to say this is a feeling unique to Dark Tidings. This is a feeling um, that is pervasive in Keyforge in Sealed because you're just playing random decks against each other, right? Um, you can have stuff line up. Like, um, the first game we played tonight, Justin killed every creature I played and then had, like, five creatures left over. So, uh, so I'm playing Slay Everlasting that has a draw icon. I have to draw my deck before I can use it. <laughs> kind of sucks. It's pretty funny. It's like the one, this is the exact one situation where you don't want that. That is a sweet light everlasting because it's got three icons on it. But I don't get any value from it. Yeah, I don't it, think he's out of the game. Hey, draw a small. Draw a card. I will cleansing wave, which has an amber on it, for two. I will persistence hunting your dinos. And that's not the first maverick persistence hunting we have. Funny enough, the other one in uh, what deck was it? Um, it was it wasn't an AOA deck. No, or in the uh, the deck that got second in Coda, right? As persistent no, sunning. no, it's got blinding light. Blinding light. Okay, yeah, yeah. Never mind then. Maybe we do have a persistent sunning. Though. I feel like I feel like I recognize. Or I remember a persistent sunning floating around somewhere. All right, your turn. Um, I am going to say. Saurian. I'll play sensor Philo. I will play Spoils of Battle. That'll go there and there. Uh, I'll capture one on Venator. Um, and then all of that. I'll take three chains to raise the tide. And uh, it's your turn. I'll drop a chain, draw one. Okay, yeah. Uh, go ahead. I technically have check as long as I have the tide. I'll say Walk, Star Alliance. Alliance. Well, Grand Alliance Council. That, 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 and that. I'll Techno Babble to stun the Philo. The thing that I guess baffles me the most Lizzie in this set is how the houses that are best have like the best board wipes like why does star alliance have two sweepers yeah on top of zap and other stuff right sure. um okay i am uh going to say untamed i'll play the mysticetti i'll play growth surge let's put three plus one plus one counters on here i'll play the fittest to put Plus one, plus one counters. Uh, it's your turn. I'll drop a chain, shuffle, and draw three. Forge. Say logos. Uh, you've got. I mean, untamed has the infighting. 
Flame Master Theory. And it's not a true wipe, but it does a pretty good impression sometimes. Play. Villa play Seaborg. This deck is Drum. bad. You just you don't have you don't have any way to interact with the tide, and you have lots of cards that want the tide. Phase shift. If it, if I had been playing like like this stream would be completely unwatchable if I had been playing against an unfathomable deck right now. Like honestly, this deck would be miserable to play against unfathomable. And I'll. There, there. I am going to say shadows. I am going to um fight the shield you later. I am going to booby trap um uh, tall mage. I am going to walk the plank and steal one, and then I will play Gas Pipes Maloon. And it is your turn. I'll drop a chain and draw. See? It's like Logos got Bouncing Death Cork and Final Analysis. Um, Sanctum actually has pretty good stuff as well. Sanctum has plenty of removal. Plus its creatures are just way, way good at fighting in this set. Sanctum. I will... I guess, I guess the, uh, enough of the board wipes are so, like, circumstantial. Coliseum can Oh yeah, you're right. I actually got a, I'm sorry, I wasn't expecting to... Play hold fast. I'll fight gas pipes. Ready, hold fast. Play Sir Bever, play Barrister Joya, play Zalvador. Hold fast. Creep, I guess. Or I could Illuminator. To stun and exhaust. Just get it into Keyforge? Stun and exalt a creature. With the, the hold fast. Okay. Hopefully, we're, oh, nice. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, welcome to the game. Look for the Archon Arcana. This, is, is there like an Archon new player uh, rules link that we have in chat? The this, to link despite my complaining for the last 20 minutes, this game is totally worth <laughs> yeah, playing. Let, uh, don't, don't let, let that, that turn Do you not off, let please. that turn you off to the game. I am going to say Untamed. I am going to play Chelonia. And if you're interested, Archon Arcana has a very awesome new player link or new player guide. I am going to play Youngest Bear and gain one. Did I forge? Yeah. Oh. Punch de Leon. Gifted us here once. Oh, up. look at there. Thank you. Thank you so much. Generosity abounds. Um, I am going to play Mooklink. In an hour. I'm going to play Growth Surge on the Mooklink. Dark Times release still the 14th. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, this Friday. It's it's looking pretty good. So I would expect it in your store this Friday. Uh, I am going to play Genetic Drift. Oh, I give a plus one, plus one counter. I guess I'll give it to my youngest bear, so that way everybody's got... Oh, uh, Tall Mage gets one. Sure. Yeah. Okay. And it's your turn. I will draw six. Mookling is six power. All right. 
Say Star Alliance. I'll play Hawkins. Ooh, this is not even worth doing this. I'll play Sanctum. Yeah, you know, fight the stupid stuff off the board. Um, Alberno is three, six, eight power. Yes, you need five damage to kill. Uh, so I'm gonna fight the that with this Salvador. Like four. I'll fight old Bruno with hold fast to get the elusive and salt two, and then I'll fight it with Blurk. Salt two, four more. Yeah. That is actually technically a Colosseum count. After an enemy creature destroyed while fighting, put a glory counter on the Colosseum. I will fight, fight Chelonia. I'll play a Zalvador. Oh, I could have gotten two fights out of hold fast. I could have fought, then fought, and then readied it, right? Mm hmm Okay. So that's got a that's got a capture icon. And then I can use hold fast to just Reap to go to eight. Okay, your turn. Uh, you lose. I don't have any armor control. Uh, okay. I can play Splos of Battle, but you're at eight, right? So that's yeah. not enough. Um, yeah, the game was a little bit closer. It was just uh, the the Sanctum in that deck was frustrating because it just kind of squatted on a board. Sanctum is um, somehow even better at that in this set than it was in Mastication. It was yeah. pretty good at that in Mastication. The uh. I don't think it was a great matchup, and I don't think this deck is great. I think there's some cool stuff in this deck, but yeah, it needs Ambermancy. That would be pretty good, right? You re use the plus one plus one counters for, for Amber. So we got we're gonna do one more. Yeah, let's do one more. Okay. So we blaze through that. Yeah, we, um, well, uh, our, the average game is not necessarily new player friendly on this channel because we're moving, um, pretty quick. We do answer questions. Um, so if you have a question about something you have seen, um, on the channel, absolutely ask us. Um, so. Evil twin. We know, we know that, um, getting into this game can sometimes be, uh, uh, intimidating just because of the sheer so H R H Animarch Smog <laughs> uh, Evil Twin of the Idiosyncratic Congregant United Actions in this set Canby is not a new player don't let him lie to you it's like a three. yeah United Action is in the set <laughs> The sweet evil twin of the idiosyncratic congregant. A uh, new player, yes. So if the two uh, decks you get in the star set aren't balanced, you can use uh, various methods to enjoy that matchup, uh, such as adaptive mode, adaptive format, where each player plays each deck one time. So you swap after the first game and you kind of play a best two out of three, and then you bid chains for the third game to kind of handicap the deck that is better if the same deck wins twice. There's probably more information on variants on the, the website, but I think you can have Fun with two decks that aren't balanced. Yeah. Um, you just kind of have to, to chain it a little bit. 
but don't yeah. expect them to be balanced. One deck's probably going to be better than the other one. Well, or just like a better matchup, right? Yeah. But if, if your deck I, that loses in that matchup will have good matchup against other decks, you might get. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't use the results of a single game to determine which deck is better. Also, you need like um, five games or so. Yeah, I think you can do it in like two or three. Two or three. I think it's sort of a good pretty, idea. Yeah. Um, which is why adaptive is a fun format, um, but just, I wouldn't necessarily start learning the game with adaptive. No, yeah. Um, but adaptive is a great way to experience a lot of the game. So it's definitely a good idea to swap decks with uh, whoever you're playing with too. Just kind of get it. You'll both of you get a better feel for stuff you're playing. Yeah, your first helps couple, to learn. Your first couple of games of Keyforge are probably going to be pretty long because if you um, have you played other card games before this. Um, Keyforge is a race, and it's and unlike Magic, where it's like you're trying to control the board and then eventually win the game from there. Um, unless you're like an old school Magic player who played like uh, Legacy or Vintage, um, where everything's combos. But uh, the um, other games, it's about like controlling the table and then winning the game through the uh, board that you've built up. In this game, it's a race, and so. You could have one player who controls the board the entire game and still lose it. So, you've got a lot of games like that. So, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there's some interesting stuff going on in this deck. I'm a little bit more excited to play this deck than the some of the other ones I've opened so far. Wait, what? Why is Evil Binary Mori like strictly worse than. He doesn't have the Reap Archive a card. He just has skirmish. Make a fight better, I guess. That since we're best friends with balance sheet now. That is a sweet art. Since it's got best, a two in it. You see the two? Yeah, they were actually. I think they were talking about this in the Sanctum Discord earlier. Yeah. There's a two. <laughs> but yeah, I don't. Give me regular binary more like. Oh yeah. All day. It should have a fight effect, right? Yeah, it should right. be like fight reap. If fight else. archive a card. Or fight archive a card, yeah. Fight gain one. Yeah, fight, something. Fight put your opponent's creatures into your archive like it was like an old Mars creature or something, right? Yeah. That's super weird. Forge two keys. Balanced. Yeah, I mean, you're right. I don't think they should be, like, strictly worse, but... I think they should be different. They should be different. I mean, it's different, but it's not, like, different enough. Skirmish isn't a good replacement for Reap Archive a card. I don't know. Not all of them. Mm, no. There are definitely some yeah. that are better, or, like, better in different situations. I like, I like, like, uh... The shadows person that's like fight make your opponent lose two instead of steal one. Making your opponent lose two is is rough. Yeah, Stealing one, it's like obviously the same amount of amber swing, but um, lose two can a lot of time be better than steal one. Sea urchin is yeah, definitely strictly better. Insane. Yeah, evil twin urchin is crazy. Should have a stun effect. Yeah, I mean it's an eel or a moray, right? So it should be able to stun stuff. Destroy steel one. Oh, I didn't. I'm not. I'm not seeing evil on all his master. It's pretty good. You're first. Hmm. Uh, sure. I'll keep, I'll say Shadows, I'll play Jackie Tom. Go ahead. See. Fathom um, um, Play the Effigy of Melekaru, which if after an enemy creature reaps, put an Awakening Counter on it. There are six or more Awakening Counters. Move to a flank for battle line, a creature with 100 power and 100 armor. So, yeah. 
I'm gonna Thunder Toad exhaust and do two damage to Jackie Tar. I'll play Bubbles, I'll play Sink or Swim to discard a random card from your hand. All right, your turn. Uh, I will say Shadows. I am going to Hornswoggle the Melloruck, Effigy of Melloruck. I'll play Gas Pipes Malone and Jackie Tar, and I'll capture on top of Jackie. And it's your turn. I'll draw four. So I'll say Unfathomable. I'll fight Gas Pipes, play Flame Gill Enforcer. Play Rukuzel's Chant to exhaust Jackie Tar. Flame Gills after your opponent raises the tide and rage it. Action steal. Ah, okay. The other one captures three. Mm -hmm. I. Gonna say Sanctum. I'll play Zalvador, Zalvador, Larry the Lake, capture onto Zalvador. And don't think the Larry moves the needle enough if I raise the tide here. So it's your turn. I will draw. Say so, sorry. I'll play Ultras Rostrum. I will enlist New Mary on Jackie Tar. Draw a card. I will... It counts as Saurian from here on out. Yeah. Okay. I'll play Undagnathus. Play as spoils of battle. Then Jackie will just reap and shoot Larry for one. Three chains is worth killing a thing. Your turn. Um, okay, I am... Going to say uh, Sanctum. I'm going to put a shield you later on, Larry. Do I give Nathan the Amber? What? It's... Yeah, no. Did it? What? No. The what? I am going to zap um, one, two, three. So I'll kill Jackie Tar. And put uh, one damage into bubbles. I gave one to his uh, Zalvador for the spoils. Spoils, yeah. Yeah. I'll play a shield you later, and then I am going to techno babble bubbles. And uh, this has a capture icon on it, so I'll capture onto Zalvador. And it is your turn. I will draw four. I'll say Sarian. I'll crushing charge. I think that's a pretty good summation of my knight, of my Keyforge knight. I'll play Reach Advantage to get the tide. And I'll reap with Undignathus. Oh, I guess I could use this at Rostrum first to move this on, yeah. on there. Thing. Your turn. Uh, I am going to say Shadows. I'm going to discard Hard Simpson. I'm going to play Old Bruno. I will play Sea Urchin. It's not worth the chains. And uh, it's your turn. I'll draw three. Say Logos. I'll final analysis. Draw three. Play this final analysis with the draw card icon. I'll play Here your conjecture to play the top card. Professor Garwin, draw card icon. This says fight you may choose and a card in your archive and put it in your hand. That's, That's bad. pretty not good. Just seems bad. She's definitely Sorry. worse than Reap. Choose a card in your archive and put it in your hand. Uh, rate my professor Garwin.com. <laughs> I'll 
I'll play Binary Moray. I will discard Bouncing Death Court. Your turn. I am going to say Sanctum Sargassa. Larry the Lake. Orpheon lands chosen. Orpheal sees chosen. Capture onto uh, Orpheon. I'll take three chains to raise the tide. So then I can play Strange Ordination. And it's your turn. Uh, raise the tide. Tapped right. And um, I raise the tide so I can capture it to you. I'll capture it on the Sargassa. Um, and I'll drop a chain and draw two. Say so check with six. I'll see. Sorry. Play Venator Altum. I'll city state interest. I will use the Brostrum. <laughs> the power level of card that I have had played against me tonight. Your turn. Has been pretty high. I am going to say um, Sanctum, I'll play round table. So each of my knights uh, gets plus one power and taunt. Um, monk, 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 night, 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 monk, monk. I am going to have um, Orpheal C's chosen fight Garwin kill, and I will gain to Orpheal Lance chosen will just reap. Uh, it's when the tide is low. Oh, okay. Yeah. And Larry, oh Larry's gonna reap. I gotta counter this. Let's put his dice. Is it each time I reap? Yeah. So that's two. Uh, and then I'll reap with Sargassa. And uh, I'll drop a chain and draw one and say check with ten. It's your turn. Say unfathomable. Play a Seabringer, Kakoa, Flame Gill Enforcer, Forward Sinon. And a brain drain. Uh, well, this no, no, super matters. Play Sanctum again, so. But. Uh, just got on top, I guess. Alright, your turn. I will forge. We'll say Sanctum. I will have Orpheal C's chosen kill the Horrid Sinon. Um, Flipkey. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I didn't get to do much of that tonight. Um, I am going to. Give you a 100 power creature. I'm gonna reap three times. Boom. 100 power, 100 armor. Move it to a flank of your battle line as a creature with 100 power and 100 armor. Okay. I will say check with nine, and it's your turn. I will drop a chain and draw. Say Logos, I will I'll fight Larry of the Lake. Mm-hmm. Red hot armor, yeah. I'll fight Sargassa. Now she's Seven four seven four. Okay.
Which sucks because I want to take the tie, but I want to get a fight in with the, the Moray first. Oh, I gotcha. You could just reap and then take the tide. I could, but like I can't kill anything. Hmm. I think if I, I kill Larry the Lake after after the reap. So yeah, I'll reap with it. Then I'll take three chains. Ready. You get to capture two. You get to capture two. Uh, I'll play Science, play Submersive Principle, I get one and then lose half. I, could, I couldn't quite get the Principle to work because that actually like protected Severe Amber, right? Because you capture some Yeah, of I'll play Theory Conjecture, grab two. Gain one from the Science. It, uh, the answer off. to that question is technically yes <laughs> once the key is forged it's fine but there are cards that interact with forged keys so um by the, of the time yes by the rules your opponent cannot interact with the key uh, once it is forged um, but there are cards that break the rules right so because it's a card game that's the way card games work i'll fight the larry the lake and the, the nature of Keyforge is that we can tell you, yeah, this card this card's very rare, um, and, and it interacts with keys, sure, and you can open the first deck and it's in there, right? So, and uh, you'll have questions about how it works. Um, so, yeah. All right, my turn. I am, um, not terribly disincentivized to say. Um, Sanctum here again because I can fight, I can gain four. Friendless. What have I used the most of? Honestly, I don't think this isn't a Sanctum turn, so um, I'm going to say Sanctum, Sargasso is going to fight Kokoa, um, 7 power, to, and we'll kill it. Take a beating in the process. Three key hammers, yeah. Key hammer, man. Key hammer is a doozy of a card for a new player. Yeah. Um, because one of the first things you learn is that uh, you you need to swap the tide because you have the tide. Um, the uh, one of the first things you learn about uh, a card is that like even when it can't really do anything for you, you can still always just play it and gain the amber from it. But uh, key hammer gives your opponent six amber regardless of whether or not it unforges a key or not. So. Um, yeah, there are some insane combos in this game, but they are fairly rare. There's also so. a thing called the Rule of Six, which yeah. you can only play or use a card with that a name, a, a particular name, six times in a turn. Correct. Yeah, and that's built into the game. Even if it's in multiples. All right, I am going to reap with Orpheon, Orpheon and Orpheon will capture two. And I will reap with Orpheol. I won't do anything with the tide here, I think. Um, and I will say check with eight, and it is your turn. I will draw one. Okay, I'll say sorry, and I'll play Rostrum. I'll play the Nader and a Pterodactyl and draw a card. I will Carpe Venum to exalt two enemy creatures. I'll fight Seneschal. Three. I can roster him first. 
And uh, that's it. All right, so I will forge. Chain and draw. Yeah. That is one thing I like about it, the reshuffle. Yeah, when you when you're out of cards, you just reshuffle your discard pile and you start drawing again. So um the the game picks up pretty quickly quickly. If it like a magic game, if it's aggro versus aggro, right, both players are kind of most magic out. games are like all the actions at the front of the game. Yeah. Um That's when you have all your cards. Yeah. And you like Magic has like a pacing problem sometimes where both players have expended all of their resources and they just kind of like, um, you know, are waiting for something to show up. So. I, I think you should just pick up the decks and play and just kind of figure yeah. it out as you go. Um, I am going to say Sanctum. I am going to reap with Orpheon. He keeps doing it. Yeah. Jeez. He, he, he won't stop me. All my stupid the creature removals at the front that would have killed these guys. I should have held that second final analysis, I think. Um, I will raise the tide, so take three chains to raise the tide. Um, and then Orpheol will fight um and tap will fight uh vinegar altum and i gain two it doesn't kill him he's only three power he mm. just takes one but he does get exalted um okay and it is is uh, just a little bit key are you on oh yeah for your second key yeah. okay yeah that's what i thought um and it's your turn I don't drop a chain because I don't draw any. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. so I think the I think a lot of people think of Keyforge as like that if you play Keyforge you don't play any other games. And that is like there's no reason that you can't still just play magic and then just play some Keyforge here and there. Um I'll say unfathomable. I will Undertow to exhaust two creatures, deal two to each exhausted creature. Okay. I will play Guilt Spine Netcaster. We're gonna fight. Boom. We're gonna fight the other guy. He's six power right now. Second guy. Uh, no, they just they're three power. Okay. He gets plus three armor while the tide is low. Oh, uh, okay. Three. And then I'll recusal's chant to exhaust each creature. Yep. Yep, my turn. It's only one creature, never mind. Because the tide's low for me. Yeah. Alright. I am going to say um, Star Alliance. I'm going to discard United Action. Um, I am going to play Rocketeer Triska. I'm going to play Cheetah. It comes into play ready um, because I have the tide. I am going to play Sabotage Mission. Um, I will capture onto here, and your keys are going to cost plus two next turn. Um, and then Cheetah is going to reap. Um, and I will say check with seven. I'll drop a chain and draw three. All right. Four for eight. I was like trying, I was like. As long as I can generate Amber, I have no reason to play this card because this right. is like my primary source of Amber control this game. Yeah, I'll say as a little the archive. I will steal one. I will play Brain Drain. In that brain. Uh, we'll get the scooped.
I'll fight Riska. The tide's highest. So she's got elusive. Uh, I'm gonna reap with the netcaster and then ready and fight Triska again. I'll play flame Gale enforcer and a Photic raider and capture two. And that's it. Yep. Uh, I am going to say shadows. I'm gonna play Jackie Tar and One Eyed Willa. Uh, and I'm going to booby trap the Flame Gill Enforcer over there. And it's your turn. I'll drop a chain and draw. Six. Yep. Play. Unfathomable. Seal two. The Seabringer. Reap with the effigy. And I'm done. Okay, I am going to say Shadows. Um, I am going to Scooped. Um, I'm gonna deal two damage to um, Denitor Altum, capture one. Um, One-Eyed Willa will fight Venator Altum, steal one and kill him. The Jackie Tar is going to reap and kill this flame kill enforcer. And it's your turn. I'll say check with 10, I'll drop a chain. Okay. See you, Logos. Play Professor Garwin. Draw a card. Play. Reap with Infomorph. Reap with the Moray. Play Infomorph. Take three chains and raise the tide. Ready the Moray. Reap with the Moray. Play more. I guess it's. I'll play file analysis. Okay, so destroy. I draw three, right? These are destroyed six, seven, first. Eight, yeah, I raise the tide. Oh, I, could, I don't have to take three chains to raise the tide, so I just wouldn't. Okay. So I draw these two, and my destroyed creatures are shuffled in for the yeah. redraw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, no. it's a merge of principle. Play science. Play final analysis with the draw card icon. Play a uh, theory or conjecture to play the top card. Gain one for science. Bouncing death quark. Gain one for bouncing death quark. Play theory or conjecture. Gain one for science. Play word sign in. Play Mobius scroll. Capture one. And that's my turn. Okay, I'm going to say uh, Sanctum. I'll play General Salvador. I'll play Doorstep. It's your turn.
a Saurian. Play Carpy Venom to exalt Zalvador. Play Reach Advantage. Capture three. Play. Uh, Justin has played his deck twice state. this game. Play Spoils of Battle. Play. Or use two Ultras Rostrums. Play Crushing Charge. This game? Nah. Play Endless Numenary. Play on Dignitas. Whew. Man. That one's that was hard. I I hope everybody enjoyed watching that game, because that game sure as shit sucked to play. Whew. Yeah, it was it was a it was a hole. You didn't think he would dig out of the hole? Like I watched the deck. I watched him go through the deck the first time, and I was like, "Why am I still in this game? I'm in this game because he hasn't somehow he somehow hasn't touched these Sanctum creatures." The only reason that game was close was because I used Sanctum five turns in a row. Yeah. Doesn't look like yeah, I, yeah, yeah. If I won a game like that, I'd be smiling. I wouldn't be fun. making I wouldn't be making the noises I'm making right now if I'd won a game like that. It's pretty fun to play a lot of cards and have a 100 power creature that you just throw away for one card, literally one card. Yeah, uh, the I mean he hadn't taken a logos turn in forever. He was setting it up. Um, man, uh, this set this set sometimes. <laughs> well, I do not. I don't blame anybody who bought like a box of Dark Tidings, played it, and were like, this deck is awful. The, the Evil Twins didn't win that game, man. The stupid Logos won no, that. The Evil game. Twins were. It, it would have been that deck is better, not Evil Twin. I'm just gonna say that. Uh, I mean, the you you stole with the steel flame, You stole with, with the flame gill. I think Steel One is better than Capture Three. But, I do agree with that. Um. So not tonight. Hello. Hey. Uh. Not, uh you, you just showed up in just the time for the stream to end. So. Also, not tonight for another game. So we're not doing. That. <laughs> I think we're done for tonight. Um. Yeah. But we'll be back Wednesday. Yeah, we'll be back uh, Wednesday night with some more stuff. Uh, maybe I'll be the one who opens Logo Star Alliance decks. I mean, so, it was you like two nights ago, right? So yeah, no, that's what I'm, it, yeah. it's that's it's frustrating. The set boils down to that for sealed, right? Uh, <laughs> well, good, good morning, not tonight. Three thirty a.m. <laughs> oh my, my gosh! Uh, on Thursday, we're gonna do a early stream. Yeah, which is we will have an EU friendly time. 2 p.m. Um, our time, which I so. don't know if that's friendly to you, but it's earlier at least. In yeah, the day. one person, one person just we we it's 18 plus stream. It's just one person spends the whole time getting shit on, and then the other person um, gets to have some fun. So yep, Thursday, Thursday afternoon, uh, 2 p.m. Eastern. Wednesday we'll be back at normal time though. Um, Friday, we're going to leave it to Mortivus and Yo-Yo to bring you uh, yeah. you guys into the, the new set for release yeah. day. TOS, indeed. Um, yeah. I This set, so... Uh, when we were first looking at the spoilers for this set, the feeling that I have right now was the feeling I was afraid I was going to have for the vast portion of this set. So the set is about half that and then half not that, um, if that makes sense to anyone. Um when you are getting to do fun, powerful stuff, the set is really excels. Um, and uh, when you are not doing that, this set feels worse than anything I've experienced. When you're on the other side of that. Yeah. Of their opponent doing that fun stuff. Yeah. I mean, you had Unfathomable that game? Yeah. A case of point, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, um... The, the only reason I got to participate in that game was because Justin played all of his removal stuff. Worlds early, or right? TTR Con? Choose Worlds. Uh, I, I will not. I, you yeah, I would go to Worlds. Yeah. yeah, there's no. So, yeah. Hoping that there is a Worlds next year. I think the TOC will be great, right? But once we. The first round is going to. The first to, round, I think, is going to be rough. The first round, there are going to be some games that are just miserable. Yeah, it's going like, to be. Rough. What, like, at the, whatever I was on the verge of saying tonight, um, I was going. Like. That is going to be a nightly occurrence. Yeah, first round's usually rough, but I do think it's going to be... It's going to be rough for, for this set, for sure. I mean, Thank you, Wizard Random. There's so Thank many you. decks that are like... Played three creatures, they don't do anything. 
Um, your opponent goes, bounces those creatures or puts them on top of your deck or does any number of stupid things, you might as well have just thrown the creatures away. Uh, but, like, you'll end up in situations... Like, it happened multiple times tonight. The only way you can get back into the game is if you somehow untap with creatures and then you just don't get to do that. It's, like, even worse than other sets, I would say, right? Because in other sets, your creatures may have been big enough um, just playing on the table it's the it's the classic one deck has creatures that are just larger than the other decks creatures and you're just getting fought off the board every turn and the the creatures in this set that have powerful effects are insane and so you'll end up you'll end up in a situation where there's like four sanctum creatures that are just stomping your board flat and you'll have some idiot like your ryan who's like well i can reap for four Right, like I'll make up for the fight that uh, I'll make up for the fights that they're doing. Yeah, um, you know, and I mean, second board can do work. It's like it's like the dinos of the set. Yeah, right? yeah. Do you see, see three, uh, four knights. Use right, and that's what I did. That's yeah. what I did there. Was, right, the like, the I had four creatures that were gaining me like five amber a turn, and I didn't even have like a great selection of sanctum creatures. They were just not easy to take off the table. Yep. Sanctum is the new dinos. Yeah, I, I like. I actually liked the the Saurian in that deck too. Uh, I think I think there are powerful Saurian decks. Yeah. I think they're. I think they're. I feel like I've opened a lot of decent Saurian decks. Like, yeah, I, I think. I well, I think, I think there's a. Saurian. I think it's it's different than mass mutations, where like in mass mutations, where it was like Saurian and Sanctum could work really well together, but if you weren't doing Sanctum stuff with Saurians, they just felt out of place. But in this set, you've got like. Um, You've got some capturing in Unfathomable. You've got some capturing in Shadows. Um, so there's like different things you can do with the Saurian Amber. Because uh, I lost that game to the Rostrum, yeah, right? They, That's they why I lost that game. They were just because you, 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 uh, you had like, it was like eight Amber or something um, that you had moved to my creatures from it. Yeah, so. they were super good. Uh, so that I don't know I, I don't feel as badly about Sarians as a lot of people do in this set I, and they're really good at fighting and like fighting is actually I, I really... think Sarians fine I mean they're, and they're big like that yeah. like fighting is so important in the set yeah. actually you have to be able to and and like there's so many sticky junky creatures that just get in the way um in this set so yeah because there were so many times tonight where it was like um Justin plays like a uh, Barrister Joya behind like a Sir Bevor, and that's like four creatures worth of fighting to get to it, unless I somehow grew my creatures enough, right? Um, so uh, it feels like the the actions in this like if you don't have the right mix of actions to go with your creatures, you're just DOA because um, you take a turn, you play three creatures, and you didn't stop the opponent from doing anything. I guess that maybe what is what it boils down to is that there are some decks that are like, if you do not interfere with me, I'm going to do something absolutely silly. Yeah, I and, think it's easier to get decks without interaction. Yeah, and so and and you're like, well, all my creatures, all my creatures come into play tapped, and then um, don't do anything, and uh, are very small, and my actions also do not help them, because uh, like I was looking at um, the stupid like. Uh, Reap or so versus Barrister Joya. I'm like, I guess it just puts three pulse and pulse encounters on somebody because my creatures aren't big enough to make uh, to make use of the fact that I could like ready the creature and it couldn't reap and then I could fight right, but it just wasn't big enough in the first place to actually do any fighting. So yeah. Anyway, it was a frustrating night for me. I got to have fun that one game, um, but uh, and that last game was good. Mm. Um, it just it just it was like I felt like the outcome. I, I felt like I was behind regardless of what the score said because I hadn't done anything. Yeah, show me they're already going to calm me down. Yeah. Uh, can you be, look for creature control? Look for creature control plus amber gen. Uh, there's not going to be a lot of uh, creature. Yeah. Or like, not going to be a lot of amber control, right? Yeah. Well, so if you do I see mean, a deck it depends. With a lot of amber control, I mean, it depends, right? Like you, like if your opponent has Sanctum or Locos, you have to worry about scaling amber control mm. to some degree. And so, um, uh, the but like the other houses may tax you. Um, but I, I would look just, at I would look at creature control above above all. Yeah, I think creature control is very important because yeah. there's so many stupid creatures in this set. 
I, how many times did I lose the game to Justin playing four creatures of the same house, right? And he just used them, um, and I, I don't have any recourse. Yeah. yeah. Maelstrom is pretty good. Maelstrom is insane. Yeah, the deck I had with Maelstrom, I couldn't draw it. I had two of them. Yeah, I would have lost that game. <laughs> yeah. You had, like, lost you had like eight amber captured or some garbage. Yeah. And I was just like, where's a maelstrom? Can't draw a maelstrom. I, and it was all, it was exacerbated by the chains. The tide, I think, is slightly overrated. Um, uh, I think it really depends on your deck. Because I think there are some decks that just don't care about the tide. Yeah, I think you don't have to be super aggressive with getting the tide. I think there's some... Really, I mean, three chains are a big, small price, or a big price to pay. You need to be getting a lot of payoff when you take yeah. the tide. Or taking something very important away from your opponent. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm like. I'm wondering if strange ordination is worth it. Depending. Yeah, on, like, like three amber for three chains. I don't know. I don't know. It's tough to say. Yeah, it's really tough to see strange ordination in your hand. Well, the thing is, I don't think the best decks in the set are going to be unfathomable, right? Because I think a good Star Alliance Logos deck does not give a shit about unfathomable because the deck is going so fast and unfathomable bouncing cards like um, diplomatic gung or Hawkins, yep. or like Triska lets you fight through bounce. Um, Triska's even better when your creatures are getting bounced. Um, I think the thing is, I think like the really fast decks are not going to care about Unfathomable, and and it will look absolutely silly. You can quote us on the creature comment. We've actually said that before. Like I think we said the same thing in Worlds Collide. The, maybe the creature comment. Yeah, about creature control being. Good and set top and sealed. Wait, being creature control being the best thing in sealed. Yeah, creature control is probably probably very important. Yeah, like I think that's one probably, of the most important things. That's one of the first things I would look for. Yeah, it isn't the only deciding factor. No, of course not. Um, but I would look. I like. I mean, that was the creature control was the deciding factor in Worlds Collide for me. Yeah, right. Because the thing was, uh, Sarian boards would just take over, um, and so you needed a way to deal with large piles of creatures. Um, um, such as so, hysteria yeah or unnatural and maelstrom selection. is like hysteria but makes your opponent very yeah. sad <laughs> it's like it's like a uh, it was like if you hysteria your opponent a turn into the future it's like it's like a time quake hysteria or something yeah. it's pretty rough all right it's like your your opponents loses the creatures like they do with hysteria but they do not get them back they get them back very slowly yeah so very slowly Thanks for watching. Yeah, sorry to sorry to be a buzzkill, everybody. At least we got some sweet art to send us out. I had fun. Put me, I put didn't. Me back I didn't. Piece. I don't have it on the ending screen yet. You don't have it on the ending screen yet? What the? How, how hard is it to put it on the ending screen? Just well, put the to, loading screen back I have to on. Animate it. But yeah, I can. Just put the put the loading screen back. I can on. put the loading screen back on. Here. All right, the loading screen is back on. Okay. Uh, everyone can still hear us. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're gonna hear this. Uh, we are starting to turn the stream off soon. Yeah. So. All right. Thank you. Uh, here's some. We'll put some music on there. Everybody. Everybody. Air guitar along. Skip the song. You're gonna move to the next. Song. That's why we do that. It's the. Bye bye.